Hello everyone. So we are continuing with our lead code series in which we cover the top 100 light questions like of medium level difficulty. So today we are going to uh, take this problem which is called generate parenthesis. So let's go to the problem. So given n pair of parenthesis write a function to generate all combination of well formed parenthesis. So we'll uh, in a bit we'll see what is well formed parenthesis. Okay, so we have to generate all combinations. For example, if n is three, it means three open brackets and three close brackets. Uh, so these are the proper outputs, right? If n is one, there is only one parenthesis. So let's go to the drawing board and see how do we solve this. So now, if you see, for example, when n was three, let's say n is three, right? So now I want three open brackets and three close brackets and I have to find all combinations. All combinations means that it is, so it is, we are going to use some kind of a recursion here because we want all possible combinations. Now, what do we mean by this? So there will be the string which creates this parenthesis. So string length will be what six, right? Three open, three close. So let's say there are six possible ways, there are six entries in which we can fill. For example, one of them could be like this, right? Uh, one of them could be like this. Is this valid? No, this one is not valid, right? This is not valid. Why? Because you can see right easily that when you open, open, there are three closing. And this, this open does not have any close bracket. So this is not a valid sequence of parenthesis. So that is what it means well formed parenthesis. Now, how do we find it out? Right? So, so let's, let's try it out. Let's take n equals to three as the input. Let's say n is three. So currently n is three. So either, so there are two options. I either I can use open bracket or close bracket open bracket or close bracket. I cannot use close bracket because there is no open bracket right now. So what I have to do, I have to only do open bracket. Let's say I did open bracket. Now from here, either I can open again or I can close. Right? So yeah, let me make it close. So if I open it, a string looks like this. If I close it, a strings looks like this. So currently this is the status from here. Either I can open or I can close. So either it will look like this or it will look like this. Similarly from here, either I can open or close. If I open, it will look like this, but I cannot close because if I close something like this, this is invalid. Similarly, you get the point, right? How do we do it? At every point, we try with both. We first open it and then we close it and both will give me different uh, parenthesis sequences, right? But there is one more thing also, let's say here. Now let's say if I open it, I can close it. Now is it, is this valid? Currently we cannot open four because my given n is three. So I can only open three and close three. So this is not valid. Yeah, I think I should make it red as well. So this is not valid. What is valid only is this. This is valid. Similarly, here if you see, you can make uh, open or close. So it will be open, open, close, open or open, open, close, close. Similarly here, open and close. So open, open and Now here you can see we are getting, uh, no, it is fine. Okay. Right. So similarly, currently we have these candidates. Similarly, we will expand it and get more. So in the end, what we will get or let's complete it. Right. Now here you can, either, you cannot open here. You can only close. So it will be close, close here. You can open, uh, you cannot open here as well. So you can only close. Here, you can do both. 
open and no here also you cannot do, do both because you cannot close here okay similarly here also you can you cannot open here you can only close and here here you can do both again here you cannot do both you can only open from here now you can only close here you can only close again close here also and here also now you can see we get all six of them okay so this is how we will do it now there are two things to take care first that the op the brackets we open do not exceed the total brackets and the second thing is when you close the bracket there should be more number of brackets opened then closed right for example if i quickly see here let's say i have two brackets open so i can at max close two times i cannot close three times okay so that is the two things we need to do and let's just code it now so for this i will going to create a recursion recursion function so it, i will name it helper it will be a helper function so what it will take it will currently take a remaining open okay open brackets which are remaining close brackets which are remaining current string we have and the answer we have to return the vector of string so answer as well let me small it down also there is one more thing you can notice here n is only till 8 okay so the time complexity of our approach is 2 raised to the power n and 2 raised to the power n works properly here so now here now what should i do if open is 0 first of all let's see how i will pass the uh, how i will call this function so this will be my answer currently string is empty currently there is no open close brackets now i call this function i call with n comma n now what is n comma n n means how many open brackets i need and how many close brackets i need currently both are n and then i take s and answer and finally whatever answer i get i return it now let's go to the recursion function which is the main one now if open is zero and close is zero what do we mean by this it means we have used all the open brackets and all the close brackets so basically we have calculated the sequence so we push back that sequence which is as in the answer and we return from here now what should we do next if open is greater than 0 it means so there are two two now there are two options either i can add open bracket or i can add close bracket now i can only add open bracket if open is greater than 0 because i cannot add more open brackets than than the total right so here i will op, uh, add an open bracket to my current string and what i'll do i'll again call this helper function it is a recursion right so with open minus 1 now i have used one open bracket close will remain same s will it will it will take an answer after this is done we will backtrack so or yeah so now i can pop back because i have to use now s again or instead of this right let's let's make a temp variable here because it will create confusion so A string current is equals to s plus open bracket, and here we will call current. Now, now what should we do next? Next, we should do we should check whether we can add close or not. If open is greater than close, it means that I can add a close bracket as well. So now the current string will be s plus. We add a close bracket. and we call this function again in this case the change will be what 
instead of open minus one it will be close minus one because we have used one close bracket and that's it now let's see whether it so after this so what we are doing when if we can add an open bracket we are adding an open bracket if we can add a close bracket we are adding a close bracket and we are going in the recursion for in each case and in the end when open becomes zero and close becomes zero you get the final answer in the string as you push that answer in the vector and then finally you return that vector so let's run the code okay this is now what is the problem here let's see oh actually if open is less than close because close means because this close represent how many remaining close brackets are there so instead of open let's call it open remaining and close remaining so that there is no confusion so if remaining open are zero if close remaining are greater than open remaining then only we should add now i think this will work okay here also it should be close now let's run it okay we got correct let's submit it okay so we got the correct answer so now does everyone see what we have to do here we have to generate all combinations so whenever a question is like where you have to generate all combinations find all combinations or calculate all combination it is more or less recursion and this is sort of a brute force but brute force also works here because n is very small n is only 8 that is why plain recursion also works in this case so that's it about this question uh, if you have any doubts regarding this question, drop in the comments. And if you want to follow this uh, lecture series, right, uh, this lead code video series, you can subscribe to my channel. So until the next video, bye bye.